Hello, everybody. I've got some exciting news. John Oliva from Sabotage has just sent out demos to Dr. Kildrum, Steve Wackles, Jeff Plate, Johnny Lee Middleton, Al Petrelli, Chris Caffrey, Zachary, and others for the upcoming brand new Sabotage album tentatively titled Curtain Call. Now, all of this comes from John Oliva himself, who talks about it on a Greek uh, rock podcast, and I will link it below. Um, the album is slated to come out on Chris Oliva's birthday, April 3rd, 2024, and ironically, that is also the same day of the passing of Paul O'Neill. And this is going to be a great album, in the words of John Oliva himself. According to John Oliva, uh, they will be heading into the studio or heading into rehearsals this June 2023 for Trans Siberian Orchestra uh, to gear up for the holiday season, and then. After the holiday season, sometime after Jan or in January through February, they will be uh, finalizing uh, recording and editing and producing the album. And again, the tentative title is Curtain Call, and that title is based off of a song that John Oliva uh, was talking about that he wrote that is just him singing and piano only, and it's a real tearjerker. Um, the TSO thing, guys, I don't want to brush over that because that's going to be a big deal. John says they have 380 people touring, uh, for 2023. So if you guys are interested in seeing Sabotage or Trans-Siberian Orchestra or any amalgamation of thereof, you may want to get your tickets now. And if I get any more information on this exciting great news i will post it here on this channel and keep all of you guys updated i would also like to mention i am uh, getting ready to publish a book uh, either later 2023 or early 2024 which will be about the early days of sabotage and the tampa bay uh, area from the period, uh, I'd say 1990 through 1994, uh, talking about bands like Saigon Kick, Sabotage, Stranger Band, Erasmo, um, Dolores Telescope, and so many, so many others with the local shows on both 98 Rock and 95 YNF. Those were some great times. And so it's going to be a great book for anyone that remembers those heydays of Ybor City, um, ML Chasers, the infamous Rocket Club. Anyone that remembers the Rocket Club, you will understand what I am talking about. So this is a must-have book for anyone who uh, remembers those glory days of the early days of Sabotage, Avatar, um, Bleeding Hearts, and all of those great Tampa Bay bands. So you heard it here and stay tuned for more as I will update as soon as I can get it. Thanks a lot guys. Catch you later.